Hey there, my real estate friends, and welcome to a new Prop Coach episode here with Coach Taco. And today we talk about that real estate is only for the entrepreneurial mindset. Yes, the entrepreneurial mindset. Now, what is the entrepreneurial mindset? Let's go to that in a minute. Real estate agents and entrepreneurs, they're not that much different from each other. They're kind of on the same journey. And that's why once you start to join the real estate, you will recognize it's it's kind of the same as an entrepreneur because again, who's paying your salary? Who's paying for your car? Who's paying for your phone? Who's paying for everything? It's all you, right? The same as any entrepreneur in the world. You have to start taking care of yourself, taking care of your business, and everything is now dependent by you. Well, that sounds a little bit scary, right? But at the end of the day, you need to understand that this is going to be an entrepreneurial journey once you join the real estate. I see this all the time, you know, these real estate professionals that go for their license, you know, now they get their license or they get their certificate and then they walk back to the agency and they say, okay, tell me what I got to do. And then your agency owner says, tell me, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You, I mean, you're in real estate right now. You have to do what you got to do. You know, it's more like an independent contractor agreement, what you have with your agency owner. So from there onwards, that's where the entrepreneurial journey starts. And what is this entrepreneurial mindset that you have to have now? There's a lot of books and a lot of, you know, articles, blogs that talk about many different ways. And it's just from what angle you look at it. But let's just face it, it really all boils down to these four things. The first thing is that as an entrepreneur, you have to take ownership of everything. You are responsible and you are accountable for everything. That means everything that happens in your business, in your life, with your clients, with your money, with everything, it's all because of you. Yes, you, <laughs> there's simply nobody else you can blame for it anymore. So you have to really stand strong sometimes because you will make mistakes. And once you make those mistakes, you have to look yourself in the mirror and say, okay, I made a mistake there. That's all cool. We learned from it and now it's time to move forward. But at the end, it's all, I hear a lot of agents, you know, blaming the market, blaming their agency, blaming, you know, Facebook, blame. There's so many things that you can blame, but at the end of the day, I'm just so sorry to say it's all, it's just all you. It's all you and you need to fix that. That means you need to educate yourself. You need to learn more. You need to just make sure that you go on that path of entrepreneurship where it's not always going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. Now, once you have taken ownership, then the next part of entrepreneurship is all about taking risks. Yes, you have to start taking a little bit of risk. And sometimes you have to take a little bit more risk than you already have. And I see too many people coming into this real estate world, very passive, very careful, not spending any money on marketing, not spending any money on themselves, not spending any money on their clients. They are in this very passive approach because they only want to take money, but they don't want to put money back in. And entrepreneurship is all about investing so that you can grow the business, to grow your clients, so you can grow yourself. You have to invest in yourself as in education. Of course, what you can do with Prop Coach. And of course, you need to invest in your clients. You have to take them out. You have to bring them somewhere, make sure you build those relationships. And you need to invest in your marketing strategy. Otherwise, how, how will people know about you? And this is the exact same thing what entrepreneurs all around the world do. So start taking those risks, be comfortable with taking risks. And once you start going and start moving, of course, those risks will become easier and easier. Now, the third thing, of course, that entrepreneurs and now that we understand this video, real estate agents also do, it's all about the grit mindset. You need to have a very real grit in your system. That means that a lot of things will not go as you planned. A lot of things will not go as you wish them they would go. And now, you know, life hits you in the face. Your business hits you in the face. Your clients hit you in the face. Everybody hits you in the face. And this is where most people fail. This is where most people drop out of the real estate. And a few people stay, why? Because they understand that grit mindset. They know already it wasn't going to be easy. They know already that things would not turn the way that they should. But if you are able to adapt, if you're able to, you know, sometimes just, you know, swallow and just bite on your lips and just keep moving, keep pushing, 
trust me, that whole journey will be worth it. You will get into better water, or what they say, slower waters, or how do they call it, like easier waters. You need to be able to keep moving forward, and that just is the grit mindset. And every entrepreneur, good, successful entrepreneur, has that grit mindset, and you as a real estate agent also need that grit mindset. And the last mindset that we all want to talk about is the opportunity mindset. Every great entrepreneur in the world has a opportunity mindset. They see opportunity everywhere. And what do they do with that opportunity? They convert it into either a business model or into a product or into a service. Now for you as a real estate agent, that's actually the same thing. Every time you talk to clients, every time you talk to somebody, you need to see the opportunity back there. What can you do in your real estate business? How can you create more opportunity? How can you differentiate yourself from all the competitors? What tools, what technology? What is it that you can do that creates more opportunity and helps you grow that business? So an entrepreneurial mindset or that real estate mindset is all about what can you bring more value to the table that creates all that opportunity. So let's have a little recap here because that went pretty fast, don't you think? Number one is all about ownership mindset. You are the owner, you are the owner of your journey, of your destiny. Number two, it's all about taking risk, the risk mindset. Be comfortable taking a little bit of risk. One step at a time, don't take too much risk in the beginning, but one step at a time, and then you will really get into that risk mindset. And then of course, it's all about the grit mindset. You have to have grit in your business because that keeps you going. Sometimes you get hit in the face and then you just keep going again. Don't worry about it, everybody has it. You just are not allowed to give up keep moving and the last one the opportunity mindset because if you see opportunity if you create opportunity that's where you really start also growing in your real estate business so I really hope you enjoyed this video about real estate is only for the entrepreneurial mindset if you have any questions of course leave a comment or contact us directly through the website or on our social medias but don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and i'm already looking forward to see you at the next video thank you so much see you next time bye